Hi, it's Mitch from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Kentucky versus Florida college basketball matchup on Wednesday, January 31st, 2024. If you like all the free picks we do at PickDogs, you'll love our premium picks, our best bets. Use that discount code PICK for 15% off. If you make big bets, you have a big bankroll and looking for one-on-one style service, we offer all of those things. We call it the Dime Club and Sharp Trading Plays. You can text the number that you see on the screen. They're not available on the website. If you make big bets, text that number. But let's get to this one. Kentucky versus Florida. Kentucky 15 and 4 on the season. Florida 14 and 6. And this is a rematch of a game played earlier in Gainesville. A game won by Kentucky who, you know, entered the the line opened with them as a mild dog or even almost as a pick them by the time the game went off. Florida was a three and a half point favorite in that game. I don't know how they come up with the line for that because I'll tell you what, it was all cats in that one with Kentucky surely showing that they were the better team. Florida, of course, in a revenge spot here, trying to return the favorite Rupp Arena. Do they have what it takes? The Gators 7-3 and three on the season uh, are 7-3 and three in their last 10 and Kentucky 8-2 and two in their last 10. You know, Golden has done a decent job at Florida, but to me, this guy is overrated. A lot like his team as he relies a lot on analytics and all that stuff. You know, one of these like, young coaches that, you know, thinks that he's smarter than everybody else. I got news for you. You can, tr- you can pretend you're smarter than everybody else, but when you get faced against a better team you don't you haven't held up once i think the gators are probably one of the more disappointing teams in the country aside from being overrated they have won three games in a row the best of the bunch was against mississippi state that game was at home they were two three and a half point favorites one by nine the other wins against missouri and then last time out against georgia in a game that they were up by 21 points and the game ended up in overtime that's the way that golden has been coaching this team when they went to knoxville and played against the Vols. They got their teeth kicked in, a lot like that happened when they went to Ole Miss and played against the Rebs, and also that home game against Kentucky, where they didn't actually get their teeth kicked in, but they did lose outright as a three and a half point home favorite. I'm trying to be, I'm trying to just be honest here. I'm not being overly harsh on Florida. I just think that, you know, if you're going to walk, talk the talk, you got to walk the walk. And I don't think the Gators have done that this season. I think what we've seen from Kentucky is a little bit of choppy play. I thought that game at South Carolina that they lost two back was them walking into a hornet's nest. I know you guys absolutely crushed me in the comments when I said South Carolina was going to win that game outright. It just set up for that type of game. It's not an indication of the overall body of work or capabilities of this Kentucky team. You got to remember that back in the middle of December, this Kentucky team took down North Carolina, who's been an absolute you know, wrecking machine. The Kentucky defense has kind of stepped it up. You know, it's not quite as good as their offense, that's for sure. But the Florida offense is a joke. I mean, they can't shoot the three at all, especially in the clutch situations. And that's where games have gotten away from them, where it's like they've kind of gotten into that back and forth. Then the other team will will, will score a point. Florida will try and throw in a three. They miss. Points on the other end, they miss. Points on the other end, and that's how you get into those bad games like the one at Ole Miss and the, and, you know, and, and the other losses. Kentucky, one of the top offensive teams in the country. This team runs the transition like you've never seen like an NBA team. I mean... If you, if, you, if you try and crash the boards and get the offensive rebounds and you don't get it, uh, it is a run out every single time for Kentucky. We saw that in the Texas A&M game that they, that they, that they ended up losing. But man, you know, it was, uh, it was basically a dunk fest on the other end when Kentucky was able to get the rebound. I just don't see how Florida gets revenge here with Kentucky having a decided edge in just about all the categories that I care about. I think the rebounding, even though Florida has a slight edge in some of the categories, it's not enough to over it's not it's it's so slight and I think overall I still think Kentucky's a better rebounding team I'm going to take Kentucky I think they blow them out of the building this time and that's going to be my free pick of course while you're doing your picks putting your bets in be sure to use our free betting tools at sportschatplace.com they're 100% free and they'll help put you on the most favorable bets on the board today